I'm Amy Dixon from Exercise TV and welcome to your basic strength training workout. I designed this program to show you some simple moves that are gonna sculpt and firm up your entire body. So grab your mat, let's pick up our hand weights and get started. Gonna start with just a basic squat. Bring your hips and your feet in alignment about shoulder distance apart. Roll your shoulders back. Gonna start as if you were sitting back in a chair. Let's do this. Sit and lift. Really press in through your heels and squeeze the glutes on the way up. How does that feel, all right? You're just getting your body nice and warm. This is a great move to take you there. Really sit back. Two more times. Now you're gonna take it down for two and up for two, so it's nice and slow, but very effective. Squeeze all the way down and all the way up. Two more, here we go. Down, two, and up. Now one more here. Slow down. Now down three, up on four. So I'm really making you get to know your squat right here. If you can, really get as low as you're willing to go today. One, two, Three, now last time here, really sit back. Give me little pulses at the bottom. Very small movement, but very effective. We're really getting into those muscle fibers in the back of the leg, in the front. Hold here. Here's eight, seven, finish this. You can do it. In four, three, two, yes. Kind of kick out those legs. Get rid of the burn. Let's bring our elbows right by our sides, just starting with a bicep curl. Here we go. Lift, exhale on the way up, and inhale on the way down. Great job. Bring the end of the dumbbell right up to your shoulder. I just want four more. Here's four, here's three, here's two. Now last one here, great work. Turn your arms out to the side. We're gonna raise it up for two and down for two. Here we go. Still a curl, but just by changing the direction, we change the muscle fibers we work. We get a greater effect in changing our body, all right? Nice firm arms right here, sleek and sculpted. And down, I want just two more. Lift, squeeze, and down. Now one more time, you're gonna go with the squat and a bicep curl. Turn your hands forward, here we go. Eight, lift, seven, nice compound movement. Really sit back. I just want four more, you've got it. Four, lift, three, Here's two and one, such a great job. Our next exercise is an alternating front lunge. I want you to lunge out with your right leg first and then your left. Ready, lead with the heel, let's go. Down and up, yes. Now we're gonna talk form as we go through this lunge. Make sure your front knee stays right over your ankle and you're really lifting and keeping your hips open in the back, pressing that knee down towards the floor. Your chest is lifted. Good, come on, let's go down and up. Get as deep as you wanna go right here. I just want four more. Three, you've got it. Two, good, one. Now, upper body, low back rows. You're gonna tuck the navel in, bring your knees together, bend the knees, roll your shoulders back. Let's go, pull back. Bring the end of the dumbbell right to your hip and squeeze through that upper back. Are you feeling it? Really should feel that upper back working right here, keeping our posture up and lifted. Lift, I want four more, here's four. You've got it. Three, two, yes, one. Great work. Now we're gonna combine the two movements. You're gonna lunge forward and give me a little row. Roll your shoulders back, get yourself ready. Ready, here we go. Lunge, pull, in and push off the foot. That's the difference right here in this movement. You're really gonna start to work the back of the leg a little bit more, and your chest is higher. Good, lift. Really exaggerate the squeeze for me. Pull back, excellent. Again, lunge, pull. Just four more, you can do it. Four, pull, yes. We never quit when we have three left, right? I know you're not. Two more, let's go, down. Pull, extend, last time, down, pull, extend, so good. Now, it's time to sculpt to the front of the shoulder. Bring your feet about hip distance apart, roll your shoulders back, slight bend in the elbow, here's a front raise, yes. Remember to breathe, exhale on the way up, 
And remember, you're doing something good for yourself today, all right? Be proud that you're just here with me. Let's lift up, good. I like to call this opening and closing the door. So you never wanna use momentum. Really use the work on the way up and the way down. Four more, let's go. Four, close. Three, yes. Two, and one. Now tap back, right, left. Tap, and in. Tap. Make sure you're just resting comfortably with those hand weights on your hips. We're gonna add an alternating front raise. Keeping with the tap. Two more here, then we're gonna add the arms. Are you ready? Left and right, let's go. Lift and down. Really press down. Yes. Working through that whole shoulder and you'll notice, guess what? Your core is working too, just to hold you in the center. Really lift up, lift through the top of your head. I want four more here. Four and close. Three, you're in it to win it. Two more, yes. One, so good. Now, center of the shoulder. Roll back, bring your elbows right by your sides. We're gonna do a side raise. Are you ready? Let's do it, right here. Lift and down, right to shoulder height. Slight little bend in your elbow, yeah? Good, lift it up, no sweat, you've got it. Lift and lower, lift, come on. Really squeeze through the top of the shoulder. Remember that open the door, close the door concept. Lift, close, lift. Two more here, yes. Up and down, up, great work. Now, your right leg's gonna stabilize you. Slight little bend in that right leg. Send your left leg out to the side. Gonna raise the arm and lift the leg for eight. Eight, and down, seven. Really squeeze the glute. Six, lower, five, stay with me. Four, yes, three. This is where we change our body, adding a balance component. One more. And together, now the other side. Send your right toe out, roll your shoulders back. This is all about your left arm and the right leg. Ready for eight, eight, and lower. Seven, slight bend in the left knee. Six, come on, five, only four more. Four, lower, three, you're right here. You're right in the moment. Yes, last time, and together. Oh, you deserve this little stretch, shake it out. Curtsy squat, this is one of my favorite moves for the glutes, you're gonna step side and behind. Here we go, step, really sink down towards the floor. How low can you go, right? Imagine you have a limbo bar right there. Can you dip a little bit lower? Get low, really squeeze your glutes on the way up. Keep your hips centered. I want four more. Then we're gonna add a tricep extension. Two more times. Yes, bring your elbows up. Get ready, we go here, kick back. Squeeze the back of the arm. Yes, nice combination movement. Really dip down, here's four more. Here's three, squeeze, two, yes, one. Now, let's key in on the back of the arm. Pay attention to some of those trouble zones we have. Roll back, elbows by your sides. Let's really press back and squeeze at the top. You're working now. You're in the zone, right? Let's lift, stay with me. I want eight, seven, you got it. Six, your backs are flat. Five, you can finish this. Four more, three, little squeeze at the top. Two, yes, one, you did it. Now, take your legs out. Going into a grand plie squat, really works on the tush and the inner thigh. Roll your shoulders back, hands on your quads. Dip down and squeeze. Really lift up through the center of your body. Really think about your core right now and your vertebrae. You're stacked, right one on top of the other and lifting out of the top of your head. Here's four more, lift, three. Now listen, in two, you're gonna go down two and up two. Here we go, down two, really squeeze, just three more. Remember this from the squat earlier? It's all about timing, but range of motion. Down, two, and up. Now one more here, down, two, little pulses, let's go. Eight, seven, squeeze, you can finish this. In four, three, back to singles, upright rows for eight. Eight, lift, seven, all the way up. Six, up, five, Good, four more, squeeze the upper back, three, come on, here's two more, and lift, one, last time, 
This is your last exercise before we go to the floor. It's a rear deltoid lift for our shoulders. Roll the elbows back right here. Let's go. Pull, pulling those elbows back. Shoulders are back and down. Lift and squeeze. All I want is just four more times. Here's four, you can do this. Three, stay with me. Two, yes, one, good. Great job working the back of the shoulder. Now we're gonna work the chest. So let's take it down to the floor. Keep a hold of your hand weights. Bring yourself to your mat and slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time. Slowly bringing it down. Make sure that your low back is pressed down into your mat. Extend your arms up straight above your shoulders. Your knuckles are in. This is called a pec fly. I want you to bend your elbows and we're gonna open the arms out for two. Let's go, open. Yes, squeeze it up in the center and you'll notice that your chest is really strong because when any time we work our chest, we're working almost our entire upper body. So you should feel good right now. Feel proud right here. I want four more, let's go. Four, down, really squeeze on the way up. Use those hand weights for resistance. Two more times, down, yes. Last time here, down for two. Now down three counts, up on four. So it's slow, 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 and go. Yes, nice and easy here. Really getting into the chest. Two, three, one more time, all the way down. Now to singles, let's go. Eight, you're almost there. Seven, stay with me, six. Five, burning out the chest. Here's four more times. Three, very effective exercise. Two more and one. Such a good job. Now you're gonna keep a hold of your hand weights. And if you can, just kind of keep them comfortable in your arms. Turn your hands to the center. This is called an overhead lift. You're gonna take it to the center right here, right up by your legs. Really starting to pull over with your back. We're working through our lats now. Nice, beautiful backs. And even working through the core, yes? Always that added benefit right here. Squeeze. I just want four more times up. Really squeeze at the bottom. You've got it. Here's three all the way down. Two more times right here. Squeeze, make sure we're exhaling on the lift. Breathe it out, this is your last one. Such a great job. Now, take both of your hand weights, just set them off to the side. Guess what, you're done with them, okay? We're gonna work through our glutes now. This is called a bridge. Bring your hands right by your sides, and I want you just to slowly squeeze up and hold. There's a lot of work going on here just to balance. Squeeze through the glutes. Your hamstrings or the backs of the legs are working. I want you to come up onto your shoulder blades. Just hold this position. Now, from here, we're gonna move down and up down, really squeeze through the glutes on the way up. And if you can, I want you to rotate the legs in just a little bit, adding some inner thigh. All right, let's do this. Four more, nice and easy. Three, really squeeze in. Two, now hold back at the top. If you need to take a break, do it. But if not, hold here with me. We're gonna rock the hips from side to side. Are you ready? From left to right, we go side. Really lift. Now you'll notice your hamstrings are coming to the party big time. Here we go. Here's four more. Here's three, a stretch is coming soon. Two and one. Perfect work. Slowly let the hips come down. Little stretch, draw your knees in. Hold here and from here I want you to take yourself onto your left side. So we're gonna roll over and we're gonna work our outer thigh and our glute. Now, you can come up here onto your elbow or lay down flat. Just make sure you keep the neck nice and safe. Stack the hips, slight bend in the knee, and we're gonna lift that leg. Ready? Here we go. Straight up. You're really pressing through the heel, and it's so important that you keep your knee and your toe forward. That's where the work comes. If you start to rotate, you're gonna just be working a different muscle group, and we really, want to focus on our glutes right here. I just want four more, let's go. Four and down, three, you can do it. Two, now up two, down two. You've been here before with twos, yes? Start to establish that range of motion a little bit more if you can. Two more times, let's go. Up, 
two, and down. Last time here, up, two, now. Kick the door shut for three. I mean, one, two, three. Imagine you have a door and you're pressing out with your heel, then you close the door. Let's go, yes, I'm feeling that in my glute. One more here, one, two, little pulses for eight, eight, seven. Is your knee slightly bent? I know it is, in four, three, two, yes. Little stretch, you deserve this. Let that hip roll open, be comfortable right here. Now, what we do on the outer thigh on one side, we get to do on the inner thigh on the other. So you're gonna cross that right leg right over the top. Really press out with your heel in this left leg and we're just gonna lift it up and down. Are you ready? Let's go. Lift and down, lift. Now our inner thighs, very small group of muscles. So you don't have to give me a really big push right here. So keep it small and controlled. Toe forward, up, yes. Now up two, down two. Here we go, lift, lift, and down. Really squeeze through the inner thigh. You've got this. Just two more for two. Up, lift, and down. Last time here, remember how we kick the door shut? We're gonna do it here with the inner thigh. We go press, press, lift, and down. Yes, one, two, three. I know your inner thighs are on fire right now, but I want you to finish this. Last one, one, two. Now little pulses, go get it. Very small, come on, you can do it. I just want four more, three more, two and one. So good. Now we get to go to the other side. So let's go ahead and roll over. Gonna stack your hips again. Now our focused work for our outer thigh is gonna happen on the left side. Come down and relax yourself, stack the hips, bend the knee. Ready, let's lift, straight up. Now again, make sure that your knee and your toe are pointed straight forward. Really lifting, starting to feel that glute now on the left side, straight up. Good, I just want four more, let's go. Four, and lower. Three, you've got it. Two, now up two, down two. Let's go high, highest, lower, yes. Remember, no rotating that foot, keep it forward. I'm keeping you honest out there, okay? Good, one more here, up. Two now, three little pulses. One, two, three, and down. Let's go, kick that door shut. Lead with your heel, go get it. Two more, press, press, yes. Last time, come on. One, two, little pulses, we're not done yet. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, you're right there. Two and one, oh, you deserve the stretch. Go ahead and pull back. Let your leg kind of rotate open and relax through the glute. Now, we get to work the inner thigh on that right leg, okay? Stay relaxed, make sure that this hip is nice and comfortable for you. Lead out with the heel, let's lift up, yes. Really work through your hip, keep your hips stacked and your core engaged. Looking good, you guys. Four more, three, then we're gonna change that timing up two, down two. Here we go, right here, let's go, lift lift and down again lift lift yes just two more times go lift up how high can you go one more here lift two remember that three down on four we go heel two three now i challenge you to get it higher with every press yes i know it's burning inner thigh time right here one more time one Two little pulses, stay with me. Eight, seven, six, this is it, come on. Four, three, two, such a good job. Now, we're gonna transition over onto our stomachs. Press up here, we're gonna work through our hamstrings. So I want you to find a stable table right here. Extend your left leg back. You're gonna squeeze by pulling the heel to the glute. Eight, and back. Seven, come on. Six, the back of the leg. Five, here's four. Can you feel your core working? Three, I know I can. Here's two, yes. One, come on down. Now we're gonna switch. Extend that right heel out. Very important, you lead with the heel. Now pull the heel to the glute for eight. Eight, and press. 
seven, yes, six, five, staying level through the back, four more, are you breathing? Three, the back of the leg, nice and sculpted, good, yes, you did it. Now, come down, give yourself a little bit of a stretch, really lengthen out. Our very last exercise is one set of push-ups, okay? Now don't get nervous, very basic. We're gonna modify it. Bring your hands out as wide as you can, that's comfortable for you. Come to your knees for me, and make sure that you have one long line from your knees up through the top of the head. Let's go, eight, come on, seven. Really push down into your hands. I'm only asking you just for four more. Four, you can do it, three, Two, lift up, one, you did such a great job. This is your reward, really lift and stretch back, holding here through your hips. Oh, for all that great work you did for your body, you deserve a little stretch. Now, slowly come back up to tabletop. I want you to bring yourself up onto your knees. We're gonna come back to a standing position right here. Take your legs nice and wide. Let's just roll up through the spine two times. And one more, all the way down, coming up, lifting through the top of your head. One big inhale, exhale down. One more cleansing breath, really inhale, exhale. Great job today. Thanks for joining me to tone, sculpt, and shape your entire body right here on Exercise TV. New workouts are added every month. Download and work out today at exercisetv.tv slash studio.